All right, guys, this is your boy BJ back from No Filter MMA. Want to come to you real quick and let you guys know what Jill- the bomb that Julian Robinson has dropped. And Julian kind of slid this bomb in so smooth that I had to, I had to, I had to, I had to inbox her. Like, I had to reach out to Jillian Robertson and be like, Jillian, who are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, so now, I mean, shout out to all the guys who do interviews with Jillian Robertson, but ain't nobody fucking with Jillian Robertson like No Filter MMA. I think that's already been established. So when she's on those podcasts, you know, she says whatever, you know, da, 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 da. Jillian talks when she comes to No Filter MMA. (laughs) <laughs> this is home base for Jillian Robinson And she she knows that And she acknowledges that So I had to reach out to Jillian And I said Jillian, Jillian So Jillian uh, Wait a minute Let me tell you what she said first So every interviewer is asking her You know Jillian were you expecting a ranked opponent Your next You know Given what you've done in the USC And You know Now that you're ranked Jillian Of course takes all smoke So she dropped a bomb that a ranked opponent turned her down in August. A ranked opponent refused to take a short notice fight with Jillian Robinson. Four weeks notice. Four weeks notice. So I had to reach out to Jillian Robinson. I said, you know, Jillian, you know that if it's, you you know, if it's, you know, your wishes to... For me to never say anything, that I would never say anything. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Jillian said, well, you know, Jillian being as nice as she is, she was like, well, you know, I don't want to risk, you know what I'm saying, starting anything. I don't want to, you know, any bad blood. That's just not Jillian's style. Like, the bad blood is just not Jillian's style. Jillian will be competitive with you. With you, she'll she'll talk, you know, sportsman-like trash to you, but... It's only it, it, it's only Jillian being Jillian. It's not trash talk. It's just Jillian talking. You know. So Jillian Robinson told me who this opponent, this 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 fighter was. I'm not going to put it out. I'm not going to say it. But guys, this and Jillian also dropped another bomb on me. There have been multiple ranked opponents. That has had a contract with Jillian Robertson's name across from them, put on the table in front of them. And they all have turned them down. They all have turned down a fight with Jillian Robertson. Every last one of them. Jillian was like, she wasn't the only person, BJ. That turned down the fight. She was, she said, she, Julian Robinson said, since even before she got ranked, that ranked girls, you know, they've came to the UFC has came to her with ranked girls and they have turned the fight down. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is wild. This is wild. So we got ranked fighters in the UFC flyweight division. Turning down smoke with rank fighters. This is this is what's blowing my mind. Like these girls know how risky a fight with Jillian Robertson is. They know how risky that fight is. They know that once Jillian Robertson gets you to the ground, that it's just it's it's her world. She rules the ground. Okay? Jillian Robertson rules rules the ground at 125 pounds period and she's so good at what she does she has ranked fighters refusing to sign a contract with a fight for her so now i'm starting to come in courtney casey i'm starting to come in poliana batello because they are not ducking jillian robertson you know what i'm saying I commend Macy Barber. Macy Barber knew the fight was risky, and Macy Barber took the fight. Macy Barber took that fight with Jillian Robertson, as risky as that fight was, you know. So, 
man, <laughs> what did I tell y'all? These girls don't want no smoke with Jillian Robertson. She is now Jillian Robertson is now being recognized as the threat at 125 pounds that she really is. Congratulations to Jillian Robertson for some for for, for being the newest victim of the duck bus. <laughs> when you get good, when you become good and you improve and you become a better fighter, people tend to duck you. They tend to duck you. This is your boy BJ back from No Filter MMA. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. And if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And I'm out.